good morning. Night after a little snow camping. Wanted to show you guys my my bed, the way I slept. I slept on the ground um, outside. So uh, the way I did this, first I put down about six inches of, of leaves. Put that um, up against this little embankment here. After that, you can't see most of it. I used it on the fly this morning, but I went and gathered a bunch of dry grass, put another four or five inches down of that. So then I lay down my tarp on the top. Of course, I'm getting snow on my bag now. Then I had my bag down, and then I wrapped another tarp on top of me from there. And over here, I put my ENO double hammock on there um, to keep it off my face so that I could actually have a little bit of fresh air all night. Worked really well. Um, and just put sticks in a, as a frame to hold that up off of me and to keep it open all night. This is the Cabela's uh, minus 20. It was incredible. Did that, really enjoyed that. Um, at the bottom of my bag, I also um, have a stainless steel water bottle that I boiled next to the fire last night before tucking in. I put it in two wool socks and, and it stayed warm for about four hours. Um, I had enough time to sit, listen to my phone actually um, listen to just an American Sniper on audiobook. It was pretty awesome. Really enjoyed it. Uh, layering the Patagonia quarter zip, Patagonia nano puff. I actually have um, this. What is this one? My uh, Mountain Hardware hard shell on the outside. Didn't want to get a hole in anything else. Then I like to wear just a simple mechanics glove that has deer skin. Allows you to, to uh, handle the fire a lot easier. Um, so pretty nice. Um, anyway, successful, successful camp out. I slept extremely well. I this is a record for me in reality. I, uh, I I don't actually ever sleep well when I go camping. So anyway, it was awesome. Next time.